and welcome to this video. It's a charity shop haul, a thrifted haul. My name is Kate and I've got loads of bargains to show you. It's actually a huge haul, things I've been collecting over the last few weeks. So loads of things to show you from clothes and a lovely bag, a beautiful tea set. Um, I've got some presents for people and just some nice little home decor bits. So all sorts in this haul. So I hope you are okay. Sending love to everyone. Hope you've had a nice week. Before I get into the haul, I've said hello. And if you're on half term or your kids are on half term, hope they've enjoyed it. We've been pumpkin picking today. I've never been pumpkin picking before and it was really fun. It was great just running around the field and we had a wheelbarrow and we chose some pumpkins. I'm going to put some pictures on Instagram later. So by the time this is on, they'll have they'll have been on a few days ago. Um, I'm Kate McCabe on Instagram and I've got a house account as well called Kate's Georgian Home, which I'll link in the description box in case you want to say hello on Instagram. But before I carry on and do my um, my charity shop haul, which you've come to see, I've got to do my mug of the day. And I always start off my videos, if you know, if you uh, if you watch my videos, you'll know that I do, do a mug and yeah, rah, rah, at the beginning. So this is the one I've chosen for today because it's Halloween on Sunday. Um, I thought I would use this Poundland Witch's Cauldron mug. It's so cute. Um, yeah, it's only a pound from Poundland recently. And it's got little gold moon and stars on and then little like feet, cauldron feet. Oh, by the way, Rufus the dog is um, on the bed having a snore. So you might be able to hear him in the background. He's softly snoring. Anyway, I've got a decaf tea in my mug of the day. I'm going to have a sip, but it's gone cold because I've been faffing about doing my makeup. Um and I haven't started. And then I was making sure everything was like the background was straight. So hopefully it is um, and I shall carry on. I'm gonna try not to edit this video. We shall see. I managed one a few weeks ago. So hopefully I can, uh, can carry on talking and show you all my bargains without editing. So I'm gonna start off with, so I'll do the smaller bits first and then I'll show you the clothes after. Okay then. Uh, right, so I'm gonna go over here and show you a little, is it the only Christmas? Oh no, I've got a couple of sort of Christmas things. I've been seeing some lovely Christmas displays in charity shops um, and thrift shops when I've been shopping, which is really nice. I'll kind of head to them first to see what they have. And I've got a couple of bits, this really cute decoration. So it's a pine cone with a little snowman and he's all cosy. Rufus is getting louder, his snores. All cosy with his uh, little scarf and hat. Really cute decoration. It's Sainsbury's originally and that was a pound. I can't remember where I got this from, like which charity shop, but it was one of them in Norfolk. So yeah, really cute, isn't it? I love that. I love you, little guy. So yeah, that's my first item. And then I'll show you this note, actually. This was from, I went to Deerham to, oh, he was from, you were from, ah, you were from Deerham in Norfolk. If you don't know, like towns in Norfolk, you won't know what I'm talking about. But if you are from around here, you'd be like, oh yeah, Deerham. Um, so I also got this, and this is a very posh vase. And I've got to say hello to, I'm going to get it wrong, I think it's Karen and Holly that work in the Deerham, it was Break Charity Shop in Deerham, Karen and Chloe, I think it's Karen and Chloe, hopefully I got that right, so hello to you, hello, um, it was lovely to chat to you the other day and um, yeah, I found some lovely bits in that charity shop, so yeah, back to this, was it Karen? I think it was Karen and Chloe. If I am wrong, just let me know in the comments if you're, if you're Karen and Chloe, but you're not, you're actually like, um, uh, like, Sharon and Chloe or something. But I think, I hope I got it right. No, I'm still up talking about the right or wrong names. How lovely is this? It's a gorgeous vase. It's a very posh um, vase. It's a, wed it's a Wedgwood, darling. I actually bought a bigger version of this um, a few months ago. So you might remember from a video, I don't know, it's probably about three or four months ago. And I bought a bigger version of this from a charity shop. It was another Wedgwood one. So I thought it'd be really pretty to have them kind of side by side or one you know this one a bit further and that one in the background but um i really like the other one and they actually hold flowers really nicely you know when you put flowers in they sit really well in this kind of this kind of shape so yes i couldn't resist it and it was a pound how good is that for a wedgwood darling it was only a pound really lovely there's no chips on it it's perfect um so yeah, I'll start using that. I've shown you now. I have, I did buy quite a few jumpers actually from Sue Ryder in a town called Galston in Great Yarmouth. And I got some beautiful autumnal jumpers and I have been wearing them and they're currently in the wash. So I'll show you them another time. Um, they are downstairs in the wash, 
I think, or in the wash basket. I don't know. They're, they're somewhere, but they're not here. Um, I've got some lovely things to show you that I picked up in that charity shop. But um, yeah, there's more to come in the next haul. And then where shall I go? Oh yeah. So you might have seen last week's video when Ewan and Luke came up to Norfolk, and I'll link it if you haven't watched it. So we did. Um, we went shopping. We went to. Uh, car boot sale in no I forgot what we did then a car boot sale in Norwich and then we had um some like tea and cake and stuff and it was just such a lovely they came up for about 24 hours and it was so nice to catch up with them and relax and you know, it was just lovely they're such great guys so um yeah I will link that in the description box in case you missed last week's video it's really nice um it was lovely editing and we had so much fun so we're gonna meet up again like near Christmas I think I'm gonna head down to London and do like a, a day in London near Christmas hopefully fingers crossed anyway so I actually bought this for Luke and then um he didn't have a bag so I had my bag and then I looked after it for him and then he went down to London I forgot to give him this um this reusable cup that I bought so um yeah this is from I think it's Aldi Kirkton House and it was one ninety nine from I can't remember which charity shop one of them in Norwich there's some really good charity shops in Norwich and yeah it's a reusable glass cup so I shall keep this for Luke and then give it to him um when I next see him so probably in December I think I think December is what, what's what we're um, hoping for but this is great yeah it's a glass one and he did say his he had one like this um and it broke quite recently so this is his replacement when he gets it in the future so yeah I shall keep that for him and also I got a little notepad that you might have seen in last week's video as well just a really cute little notepad with a teacup and um saucer on just nice little plain notepad the paper's really nice actually and that was 99p from Oxfam so I'll just put these over here and then I'm going to carry on with um some little, oh, little bits I found this is also when I went along to um to Deerham charity shop in Norfolk I got some lovely M&S spray things spray things and this lovely candle. So this is a frankincense, oh this is more, this is Christmassy as well actually, frankincense and myrrh candle, scented candle. It was two pounds from Packed Charity Shop. It smells really nice. It smells kind of cinnamon, 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 and frankincense, I don't even know what frankincense and myrrh smells like, but it smells very Christmassy. It smells a bit like the winter, um, What's it called? The um, White Company candle, because I found one of them in the charity shop a couple of years ago. It's kind of like that. It's just lovely. I wish you could smell that because it's um, it's got a lovely aroma. Very nice. OK, um, right. So candle for two pounds. And then it was like kind of with a set. And as I like looked along, I got more and more of the bits and put them together. But I got a couple of these room sprays. So this is Frank on Frank and some uh, it's all frankincense and myrrh actually. Um, this is a room spray and it says orange clove frankincense. And this is M&S Home, 100 millilitres. That was a pound, also from Packed Charity Shop and it smells lovely. I did do the um, sniff test when I was in um, the charity shop, just in case. You know, some, sometimes things can go off, can't they? But that is really nice. It's so like Christmassy and wintry. I'm going to be spraying it all around my house and I'm smelling it it's lovely so yeah that's good actually my friend Claire when you go around her house she always sprays stuff before people come in I always walk in and go oh it smells lovely in here and it's because she does a little spray so yes yeah, so I shall remember that little tip to have a spray a room spray before people walk in um, and then I also got this in the same little set it's an M&S oh and here's some kids outside candle this was a 50p so just a really small little frankincense and myrrh candle and then lastly in this um in this range is another one another room spray in the same it must have come in a set or something and that was a pound as well so have a little spray of this one. Oh, 30 mils in this one and 100 millilitres in um in this bottle actually it says five pounds on this maybe it wasn't a set so these are might might have been um individual i'm not sure but um yeah, really nice. So let's have a spray of this one and then I'll, make, and I'll let you know. I'm sure it's going to, it's obviously going to smell like the other stuff, but I'm making sure the thing is going that way. So I'll spray it in my eye or something. So yeah, just in case. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. I really wish you could um, 
you could smell that spray that way oh it's lovely it's really fresh actually you know sometimes it can be a bit sweet that's just like really nice and wintry and and gorgeous okay i love this next item so i found this the other day with we went shopping my dad came up um last week and we had a lovely few days and we went to me and my dad's wife we went to a couple of charity shops and look what i found this gorgeous like wooden lantern thing so obviously i can use this for christmas but kind of all year round actually because things are stars on it's not just for christmas what not just for christmas you can be you know i can you i can use you I can use you all year round. It's really nice, like chunky driftwood, I think it is. It's really lovely, sort of looks like, I don't know, like sun bleached wood or it's been treated, but it's lovely. It's this really nice pale wood with some stars carved into it. And yeah, inside it's got a little part where you put your candle, put your tea light, or I can put a bigger candle in there. It's nice, sturdy. A nice sturdy pot and a nice rope handle as well and it was four pounds for this but originally it says on the bottom 14 pound on the bottom so i'm not sure where it's from but um yeah it's a good bargain and i just really like it so it's going to fit somewhere in our house it could go outside not like outside outside but in our like porch bit in our house um just outside there or, or anywhere it's just lovely it's really nice maybe in a room yeah, I couldn't resist that. So I do love a lantern, so I thought I'd get that as well. Um, I'm going to show you... Oh, yeah, I'll do this bag. Oh, I've got bag and shoes. And then I'll show you my little tea set. And then I'm going to finish off with the clothes. I say finish off. There's loads of things to show you. So, um, yeah, I'll be here a little while showing you the clothes. Um, so I got this lovely bag from um, Sue Ryder in Gorleston in Great Yarmouth. It must sound really weird, the name like Galston when I say it um but yes yeah, it's a little little town in uh in Great Yarmouth and it's lovely it's by the sea and it's just yeah it's really nice it's really up and coming and just a really nice place to to go and they've got some great charity shops there especially my favorite one which is the Sioux Rider it's like a little boutique it's so good so if you ever go on holiday to Great Yarmouth or you're in the area for a little day out or you live nearby uh, make sure you go to the charity shops there because they're so good so this was 10 pounds this Kath Kidston bag and it's really pretty i do have quite a few bags well actually i haven't bought one for ages i saw one at a car boot sale quite similar to this but it was polka dots and i didn't get it um and then i saw this the other day and thought i will get it because i do love bags like floral bags they're just kind of timeless aren't they and it's a nice cross the body one which i always seem to wear um so i thought i'd get that so i thought it was good for a tenner really pretty and then inside it's just kind of I think it's just canvas actually so it's quite a nice big bag a little zip here so I can put my money in there on my phone so it's a bit more safe and yeah just a really lovely a very lovely bag I've got to sort the strap out though because it's kind of all over the place and um, but yeah really nice what do you think I think it's lovely really nice colours actually as well so yes I like you very much I'm going to put you over there I'll show you these boots quickly I've been wearing these today on the um the pumpkin picking expedition it wasn't really an expedition but when i went pumpkin picking this morning they're really really comfortable these were five pounds and they are from primark originally they're really cozy they were brand new until i wore them today and yeah they're just really really comfortable i think they're size five and i'm normally a six but i think in boot no they are six yeah they are a six and i've had some nice thick socks on and they just were really comfortable and cozy i never used to wear these boots i always used to see them everyone wore them and then like i don't know 20 years later i finally started wearing them and they're the most they're warm and comfortable and i love them so yeah i thought i'd grab these for five pounds because um i do have another pair that used to be my mum's some ugg boots and we like wore them loads last year me and toby we just kept taking turns and going outside and they got a little bit mucky so we need to clean them but they are lovely they're just they're just quite old but they're really still really comfortable but i thought i'd get another pair um in the same color because these are nice and new and only a fiver so yeah some lovely boots um can't believe how warm and cozy they are they're just so nice and then oh i've got these i haven't shown you these yet and then i'll show you the little tea set um a little cup and saucer hand warmer so it says be warm in the coldest weather two pack hand warmers accessories so these are the ones they've got a little disc in them and then you kind of like 
pop it almost, don't you? And then they become hot. So it just is in the back. Um, these reusable hand warmers are great for use indoors and outdoors, ideal for camping, fishing, outdoor activities, blah, blah, blah. And just to use, click the small metal disc, crystals will form and will stay warm for about 30 minutes. And then when you, when they, you can use, they're reusable. So when they cool down, you put the pack into boiling water, like into a mug or something, and then you boil them for 10 to, what do you have to, how do you boil them again? I think you literally put them in a mug with boiling water and then leave them and then they'll, they'll dissolve and then you can use them again once it's cool. So yeah, if that makes sense, but these are brilliant. I mean, you probably know how these work anyway, but just in case, um, yeah, they're really good and have cute little teapot and, and saucer, little cup, really cute. And they were a pound, so I can't remember where they were from, but yeah, they're really nice. So I got those as well. And then I'm gonna try and show you this beautiful tea set. This is Kath Kidston. The whole box, this is from, Oh, Sue Ryder, again, oh, in Coulson, it's really heavy. And this whole box was £20, so everything in here. And uh, I do have quite a few teapots and mugs, as you probably know, because I do, I do love a mug. I do love a teapot. I do have a little bit of room, though, for an extra teapot at the top. So I'm going to put this up there, or, like, have a bit of a, a move around of my teapots. It's really lovely. So I'm going to just hold this up so you can see everything in here. There's a teapot, there's some bowls. There's a milk jug. I've also got some lovely sauces. I think that's a sugar bowl, isn't it? So yeah, sugar bowl, jug, some egg cups. Um, I've, got, I've got to give it all a wash because I've literally just left it in this box to show you. Some really pretty bowls. So there is four bowls, two egg cups. Um, what did I just put behind me? Oh yeah, the milk jug. Um, yeah, I've got a butter dish. A beautiful teapot, which I need to clean. Love this um, Kath Kidson pattern. It's really lovely, isn't it? Love that, so pretty. And then I've got some sauces. Hang on, let me put this in and be careful. Oh, I don't want to break you, so you stay there. Yeah, some big cups. I've got some little cups. Another sugar bowl, so you know, if I want more sugar. Some little teacup and saucers as well. So they're really cute. Um, there's four of those actually. And then these plates, these ones like that, these Kath Kidson ones. Um, hang on, the cup and saucers. So yeah, ones like that. So, you know, the trio thing you can do. God, I need some more hands. Um, hang on. Yeah, so you can do like a trio thing. Oh, God. Um, and there's some little plates at the bottom. Side plates. How many of these? I think there's three. Three side plates in here. Is there three? Yeah. They're a really nice size, actually. And I've got um, plates in this style as well already, so I can just kind of add it. And the nice thing about Kath Kidston is it looks so nice all together. So no matter what sort of pattern, they all look beautiful together. So I've got some big plates like this um, that I can use. I love Kath Kidson, I really do. I love them. Um, I know they don't have any shops, I don't think, anymore, like shops in the high street. I think it's all online. Um, so it's great finding it second hand because it makes me appreciate it even more. Um, oh, I'll show you the butter dish. I'm literally sitting here like this with all things under my arms. I'll show you the butter dish. That's the top and then oh god oh oh no actually oh i haven't broken anything and then that's the bottom of the butter dish so okay Kath Kidson butter dish. Um, i wanted to show you like a trio thing together and then i'll move on oh here we go i think i can just about get away with it so i've got <laughs> Yeah, like that. That's what I wanted to show you. So yeah, something like that. Four, I think I've got four different cups and saucers. Really cute. I love all this. I was so happy to find it. And also very happy not to break any of it because it's very precious, especially now, you know, they won't be making more like this, I don't think, will they? Okay, so let me just put this back down. Little jug behind me. And then I'm going to show you, you stay there. I love you all. And I'll show you my, um, oh, that's the big, lovely teapot. I'm going to show you my clothes. Right, have I just, have I got away with it? I have, okay. I'm just going to pop this over here. Oh, okay. 
there we go it's nice and safe and nothing's broken so I'll look after that give it a good old wash and then yeah put it all in my house where it needs to go so onto the clothes now I've got um quite a few skirts and jumpers and things and I'm gonna start off with the skirts I'm gonna finish on my favorite item which actually you might have seen recently in a different video so i've got a few skirts because i love wearing skirts and boots and tights so these are all from sue rider again i've got this skirt i think these were like four pounds each yeah i think they were four pounds each so this one is from oh it's brand new so this is from next originally and it's still brand new with its um labels on so that was 30 pounds it's really lovely like autumnal colors so this is the first skirt. I didn't realise it was new. Really lovely. How does it go actually? Oh, that's the middle there. So that's how it kind of goes on. So it's got this bit at the front, which would be quite flattering so it doesn't cling. And yeah, that'll look lovely with tights and boots. And it's a really nice check pattern. And the jumpers that I've got, which are currently in the wash, are this kind of colour. So really nice warm tones. So I should be wearing this with those nice jumpers. And yeah, my tights and boots. So that's the first skirt from Next. And Next do, the sizes are good at Next as well, aren't they? They're not like too tight or anything. And then what have I got here? This is Bowden. So this is a corduroy skirt from Bowden. And that was two pounds. It's a size 12 again, really good price. And that's from Bernardo's. So really lovely corduroy skirt. This one is a tiniest bit too tight now, I think. So um, yeah, so hopefully, uh, it will fit me at some point, but it does fit me now and it just feels a little bit too tight and it's got nice pockets, but I really love it. So yeah, hopefully that will fit me at some point. It's really nice, nice and thick and perfect for winter. This one fits really well. This is a brand new ASOS or ASOS. I don't know how you say it. I always say ASOS, but I've probably got it wrong. This is from East Coast Hospice and it was £5, but again, brand new with all the tags really nice denim skirt and this is really nice on it's got pockets as well at the front and obviously at the back it's a denim skirt just as asos denim and this is a uk size 14 so a bit bigger than the other two and that fits that fits really well it looks short there but it's not it's just kind of like normal skirt length but really nice on love that and then finally i've got another corduroy skirt is it corduroy really like corduroy oh, sorry i'm just gonna do the buttons up because they are all undone hang on hang on a sec oh it smells really nice so someone's just washed it, it smells freshly washed hang on nearly there one more button and then oh that's it yeah so this one is from break charity shop and it was three pounds and this is what it looks like it's from yeah it's from matalan size 14 matalan sizes are good as well actually aren't they they normally fit um, quite nicely. They're not too small, are they? So this is a really lovely autumnal colour. So like, what colour are you? Aubergine, is it? Is that what you'd say? Like a burnt, not burnt, I'll say burnt purple. But it's like a dark, I don't know. I think it's aubergine. What do you reckon? Is that aubergine? I think it is, but it's lovely. It's not like red. It's not purple. It's kind of in between, but really lovely. So yes, another one to wear. And then, oh, a lovely scarf. And then I'm gonna finish off on some jumpers and probably one of my favorite charity shop finds ever. So this is a lovely accessorize, 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 yeah, scarf. Let me just check where you're from. Yeah, accessorize. So this was a couple of pounds. I think it was two pounds. Um, and it's really like squidgy, 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 really squidgy scarf. I love this color. And actually I did have one that I wore I think it wasn't last year, it was the year before, and I wore it so much it went all bobbly. So I do I did need another one um in this colour. It just goes with everything, this kind of mustardy yellow colour. It's lovely. And it's because it's squidgy, it's just I don't know, it just fits really nicely. So yeah, I love that. Really lovely scarf. So I shall I'm gonna chop that off though, because then you'll be fine when you have these little labels on things. I hate them when they show, so I'll I'll chop that off. Um after this video so yeah a lovely scarf from sue rider and then i've got three jumpers to show you i'm going to end on that one because i love it this was from what charity shop were you from it's a disney jumper or a sweater 
it was oh Bernardo's it was from Bernardo's and it was five pounds and I think it's brand new it's in such perfect condition um yeah it's lovely it's, it's actually got some bestie hairs on it I say it's perfect condition it was I think bestie slept on it so it's just white with little like Mickey Mouse things all over it. it's so soft like the inside is that really lovely fleecy material and I don't think that's been worn I don't think that's been washed it's just really soft Rufus is snoring um really comfortable and that'll be perfect to wear you know anytime I can wear this around the house I can wear this on the school run wear it under a jacket it's just lovely really easy I love jumpers like this you can just chuck on with jeans or whatever and it's just yeah they're just really comfortable so really good for five pounds and I'll have to um get those bestie hairs off I also got this the same kind of sweater jumper thing this is from Matalan it's a really nice colour again I can just chuck it on wear it with jeans and it's from uh, Matalan size 14 it's 375 it's got um pretty sleeves like that nice round neck and yeah it's just a nice simple jumper and it feels really soft on the inside as well so yeah really lovely it's just so handy having stuff like this I just chuck them on oh sorry I just hit you with my jumper just chuck them on with like pajama bottoms and then my final thing I love it so much I did wear it in I think it was a charity shop haul video or one I did recently I could have been a pound land I don't know but it was a video I did recently and I've worn it so much and I get so many compliments about it and they always say it's from a charity shop it's from Sue Ryder, the best charity shop. So when I walked in, I saw this straight away. Um, this was, I don't know, about a month ago. And it's just gorgeous. It's from Zara, originally. And uh, it's size, what size are you? This is Winter Collection. Um, oh, that's funny. 13 to 14 years. It's actually a kid's jumper. I did not know that. It says Fancy Collection. What does it not? I don't know. Fancy collection, Zara knitwear, as you can see there, and then it's got like years on it. It says thirteen to fourteen years. So I ha I didn't have a clue. It just to me, it's just like a, a size twelve jumper. I was having a look on the inside because I didn't um I didn't even see that. What does it say here? No, it doesn't say anything. Oh, I don't know. I love it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, it's got a really nice neck, so it's not too low. It's just perfect. I love these little um, like pom-pom things. I'm just going to have my tea. Hang on. I don't want to edit this video. <laughs> All these little cute pom-pom things on, which kind of remind me of pumpkins for some reason. And it looks really nice with jeans. And it's really warm. It's so cosy. And the sides um, are nice as well. They've got that split at the side so it doesn't cling. So I always find that's much more flattering when you have that as well. It's got my hairs on it. Um, but I love that jumper, this navy blue jumper with these little cute pom-poms. The back is just, the black, the back is just plain. Yeah, I love that so much. Really love it. I love you all. It's great. So yeah, that's my final thing in this charity shop haul, this um, jumper. So that is everything. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I think I've got um, a way with not editing. Hopefully, anyway, fingers crossed. I'll probably edit it back and they'll be like, or, you know, watch it back and there'll be something I've said wrong. But hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully it's all fine. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a like and subscribe as well. And what was I going to say? Like I said at the beginning, um, I said about Instagram. So come say hi on there if you're not currently following on there. I'll link everything down below plus my recent videos. So yeah, if you fancy watching some of them, the vlog with Ewan and Luke where we went to the car boot sale, that'll be down there. And I think a Poundland video and I'm not sure, there's, there's a few other ones. I think Home Bargains as well. So they'll be down there. But have a lovely weekend. Thank you so much for watching. I've got a cherries haul for next week. So a huge um, Christmas cherries haul for next week at two o'clock. But um, yeah, have a lovely week. Take care and I will speak to you soon. Bye bye. See you. Oh, let me know your favourite item. Haven't done that yet. As I said, goodbye. Um, so what's your favourite item in this whole haul? Minus this. I mean, I love everything. I love the Kathy Kidson bag. I love the boots. I love the tea set. I love the spray. I also love this. Really love this. It's gorgeous. But um, yeah, this jumper just make, literally makes me happy. I love it. I love you. So yeah, let me know your favourite item. Put it in the comments below and I'll speak to you next week. Take care. See you soon. Bye bye.